Hi, I'm Scott, and today we're going to talk about the difference between shop tools and in-the-house tools on Dad It Yourself. So I was reading an article the other day that talked about what kind of tools a new homeowner would want. And as you can imagine, the list got started. An impact driver, maybe a drill, a saw to cut things, a hammer, some screwdrivers, a pair of pliers, maybe a wrench. So an interesting observation was made in this article. It talked about having a dedicated set of tools in the house. What do you mean tools in the house? Not in the shop, but in the house. Tools for in the house, for the house. Well, that's kind of interesting actually. So you're probably asking, Scott, why are you in the house? You film all your tool videos out in the shop. If you've watched any of my videos or watched my channel, you know I own over 100 Ryobi tools. And I'm continuously running out to the garage to grab them. A drill, a hammer, or something to do some work inside. And invariably, I leave that tool where it lays. Upstairs in a bedroom, in the living room, in the kitchen, or it makes it at least to the landing spot outside the garage door. But what it never does is make it back to its spot here in the garage. And then I'll be working on a project and I'll need that tool and I'll have to go looking for it. Well, the suggestion that I have a set of tools in the house, as profound as it was, got me thinking. Having a set of tools that I keep in a closet or under the sink brought me to this box right here that's in the house. So normally I get my tools from either the Home Depot, Direct Tool Outlet, or even Amazon. But I had a new one that I've been thinking of that I hadn't tried yet, the Ryobi Deal Finders. So the first time I'd ever heard of the Ryobi deal finders was on some of the Ryobi tool groups I follow on Facebook. And as we all know, timing is everything and I was in the market for some new tools. So I saw one of their links, I clicked on it and I went to their website. And I was pleasantly surprised. It was really set up like the direct tool outlet, but it was categories much better, easier to follow, easier to find things. And amazingly, their search engine worked. Beat that direct tool outlet. So I placed my order and five days later, this box came. So before I open this box, I just wanted to talk to you about something. The day after I placed my order, I got an email from Brian Dalmas, the guy that runs Ryobi Deal Finders, and he said that I forgot to order the free battery that comes with my order. You know, if you order over $100, you get a free 1.5 amp battery. I don't need another battery, so I told him, you know, I'd pass on it, but the fact that he took the time to reach out to me to make sure that I got something that was free and was gonna cost him money, shows me that the customer service is top notch at Ryobi Deal Finders. So let's open this box and see what's inside. Seems packed pretty good. And you guys didn't think there was going to be Ryobi tools in here. So we'll go to this one first. Get the knife out again. So this is the Ryobi Homeowner's Hand Tool Starter Kit. Not to be confused with the regular Homeowner Starter Kit. This one does not have the drill in it. It just has, what does it have in here? Okay, well, I've got all this stuff in here. Go look at this stuff in a second. So this one comes with a hammer, set on the end those pliers, a utility knife, the flathead screwdriver, um, tape measure, and the Phillips screwdriver. So that's that. And that's what comes in. And like I said, this is $29. The uh, homeowner starter kit that comes with the drill is $89, and they sell that at the Home Depot. Uh, in addition to that, I got a couple of other things. I did get this. Uh, four volt screwdriver, or this is the rechargeable one, sorry. Uh, let's 
that's the model number on that. HP, no. So that's the, yeah, HP 44L. And this one uses a recharging cord. It comes with a flathead and a Phillips screw tip. And it has the swivel handle. Oh, it comes charged already. And then it's got the swivel handle so you can use it in the pistol formation or in the straight slot to speed. Nice. And that one's going to go in the kit to use in the house. So in addition to that, I did pick up the 4 volt HP 54L. And this one uses the 4 volt tech battery. Goes up here. It's actually still packed. And this one's going to go out in the shop and it's going to start my 4 volt line that I'm going to start filling out to supplement my 18 volt and 40 volt line. So that's the Tech 4. It comes with a charging port, the battery, looks like a bit as well. And, oh, look, and a bit set. And what else did I get? Oh, look at that. Multifunction folding knife. So that's going to go really nice with my spring blade and my tactical knife right there. This was $23. The Tech 4 was $29. And then this, the other screwdriver, where is it, was, oh here it is, this was $23. Hey, so that's it for the unboxing. I'm going to find a new home for this somewhere in the house, probably in a closet. Uh, don't forget to check out Ryobi Deal Finders. I'll have a link to their website and all the tools I unbox today down in the description. Speak in the description. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down there. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right there. Thanks for watching. Doubt it yourself.